everyone. Um, my name is Lewis Bird. I'm president of Lanx Industries. I'm joined by Stephanie Ortega, who is our HR manager. Um, we're happy to be um, here with you, uh, working with uh, New Mexico Workforce Commission Connections as we uh, uh, tell you a little bit about our company. Um, we are a new manufacturing company, new to, new to Albuquerque. Um, we have a 47 year history. Um, the name of our company is Lanx Industries. We are the largest manufacturer of radiation shielding and radiation containment products in the United States. Uh, as I said, uh, we were founded in 1974. I'm not going to go through all of this, but just kind of verbally give you kind of an overview. Um, we uh, moved to Albuquerque in, into a brand new uh, 26,000 square foot building in the Renaissance Center area of Albuquerque. Uh, and uh, we are looking to hire 20 to 25 people in a variety of um, uh, areas, which, I'll, which I will get into. Um, but as I said, we are, a, we are a manufacturing company. So for those of you who are looking to get out of retail or, or other things, uh, we actually make products. Uh, for people who are good with uh, working with their hands. Um, we, make, um, we make a variety of products out of plastic film and various metals that are used um, by um, companies, some of which you may be familiar with, uh, companies like uh, Los Alamos National Labs, uh, Sandia National Laboratories. Uh, we are one of the largest suppliers of products to the United States Navy. Um, and to the nuclear power industry. And we, we, we make products that allow people in those industries to handle um, uh, hazardous materials safely, but there's nothing hazardous about uh, the work that uh, we do. Um, as I said, and, and actually on the next slide, you will see some of the products that we make. Um, as I said, we have, um, machinery that allows us to seal plastic together. So we make um, things that we call glove bags and tents and some protective clothing. Um, and and the, the products at the bottom of the slide are various forms of shielding that we make um, that protect workers who are in hazardous environments. So uh, if you come join our company, uh, we will teach you how to make how to make these products, and uh, again, we've been doing it for doing it for a long time. Um, next slide, Stephanie. Thank you. So, as I said, we're we're looking to hire twenty to twenty five people in these four or five product categories. Um, production workers. We're looking to hire and assist a a co-production manager, someone who's gonna work with our current production manager, assistant production supervisors. Um, we um, have a, a, a real need for people who know how to sew uh, because some of the products that we make um, there, we, we sew uh, pieces of plastic together. And then we're also looking for a quality control new product specialist. Um, we um, encourage people who are bilingual to apply. Um, and let me also mention that um, we have a shift that runs from 7 a.m. to 3.30. We will also be starting a night shift. And so for people who are interested in working at night, uh, we will have a shift that will start at 3.30 and go on, go on to a midnight. Um, just some, some details on some of the specific jobs that we're looking to fill. Um, next slide, slide, Stephanie. For production workers, um, as I said, we uh, need people who are comfortable working with their hands. We will teach you how to operate machines like, like you see here. Um, it's great if you're able to uh, lift and handle some heavy materials. Um, and, you know, just you know, people with a good, um, good attitude, um, basic math skills, and just a, a, willingness, uh, a willingness to learn. As I said, the positions are available for both our first shift 
and then you know in a couple weeks for our night shift. Um, so the next position, as I mentioned, our co-production manager. So we currently have a production manager in our in our day shift. Um, she manages um, the activities of our currently about 20 people, um, making sure that the orders are produced uh, on time and, and accurately. We're looking for someone who's got some experience managing people. Again, uh, someone who's got experience working with their hands um, and who can work with her to kind of get, get our uh, products uh, continually to, to, be, to be produced and uh, out to our customers on time. Next position is the assistant production supervisor position. Stephanie, do you want to talk about that one? Yes. So we're looking for someone to help our current manager. Um, so this person will help out, um, you know, assign different duties and responsibilities to the um, personnel and production area. Um, they will monitor, help train our employees. Um, they will also help ensure that we meet our deadlines so that we can ship out our products on time to our customers. Um, and just ensure that all of our products are manufactured uh, to specifications. Um, this person will also be very hands-on, um, so we do need someone that's able to, you know, stand for long periods of time, be able to lift heavy weight, um, and this position is full-time. The next position that we have is our sewing machine operators. Um, so for this position, we do require um, some previous experience in sewing. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be commercial and, or industrial sewing, but some knowledge of you know, sewing. Um, this, this position will also be trained to work in other areas in our production department for those times when there isn't um, any sewing that has to be done. Um, but this person will be primarily um, sewing and assembling all of our industrial suits, um, you know, sewing zippers onto our tents and that kind of thing. And then lastly, our quality control and new product specialist. Uh, so this position will be 50% working in quality, 50% working in product development and marketing. Um, so this person has to ensure that all of our products are made to specifications, make sure um, all of the, they meets all of our requirements. Um, they will also do some research um, and come up with any uh, new products to market. Um, they will run audits, um, report any findings and um, help us improve our current products. Um, we do ask uh, one to three years of prior experience in quality control or quality assurance environment with a degree in industrial design, engineering, business, or another related field. Um, and again, this position is also full-time. We do offer a wide variety of benefits. So we do offer medical insurance. Um, we do pay 60% of our employees' premium. We also have dental vision. For vision, we also pay 60% of our employees premium. We have a retirement account that we will match up to 4% of your contribution. Uh, we do offer vacation time, tuition assistance to those that want to, you know, further their education. We do encourage all of our employees to get um, their degrees. Um, we do offer life insurance and accidental death and dismemberment to all of our employees at no cost, up to $25,000. And then we do have the six federal paid holidays. So how can you apply? Um, you can always go to our um, website, linksindustries.com uh, forward slash careers. Um, or you can always come in person, um, check out our building, check out, check out our production area. We're located at 1420 Mission Avenue Northeast. Um, we are right next to Sam's Club off of Montano and I-25 in the Renaissance area. Um, and then you guys can always email us at info at linksindustries.com if you have any questions or if you want to submit a resume um, or anything like that. Um, one thing, we do require all of our um, hires to get a COVID test or have proof of some sort of vaccine that, you, that you're getting um, just because we want to make sure, you know, everyone's safe. And then I believe at this time, we will take any questions you guys might have.
Hi. Hey, Stephanie and Lewis, thank you for your presentation. Um, I do, the first question I have is when do medical benefits begin? So medical insurance is um, eligible once you complete your 60 day probation period. And that's true to medical, dental and vision. Thank you. And the next question is what are the hours for applying in person? So we are opened Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Thank you. And for someone that doesn't um, have the experience, you know, just to start off with a production worker, um, can you describe like the general, like what I will be doing or how do I just, you know, just kind of in general, what do you do when you start your shift? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, why don't I take that? And um, we, you know, we actually did a training for about five people who started work with us in the last week. We did a training for them this morning. Um, um, we uh, use some uh, monitors and videos to show people the products that they'll actually be producing so, so that they have an idea of the, of the finished product. But um, there are two um, main areas where, where people who work in production operate. Um, one is in our plastic heat seal room and you're operating uh, machines um, that um, sort of melt plastic, although it's, uh, it's sort of like a, a radio frequency beam. So there's no heat. Again, it's, it's very, very safe. Um, and um, you stand in front of a machine put two pieces of plastic together, hit a button, it's sealed, move, kind of move on to the next thing. Um, we also have a, um, an area where people are working with um, um, various metals to make shielding. And um, we have molds. People sort of take these metals, put them in a mold. They um, uh, heat seal around the borders. Um, so it's, it's, um, it's um, work that uh, we, we've trained literally hundreds of people because, you know, again, we've been doing this for over 45 years. So um, experience isn't really required uh, just against someone with a good attitude and a, and a willingness to learn and to work with a team. Great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Is there any um, takeaways that you want us to have? Um, I don't see any other questions at the moment, but what do you want us to know about links? Um, I would say that, uh, so I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. Um, so um, we are a very, very stable business. Um, been, been around for over, over 40 years. Um, this, this work is full-time. It's not seasonal. Um, uh, you know, we have a, uh, I think a comfortable work culture, you know, people come to work, uh, there's no politics, there's no drama, come to work, learn. Uh, so it, it's, it's very, very straightforward. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we, we're happy to be in Albuquerque. Um, uh, you know, we're, we're happy to be here and to, uh, you know, we're looking to get up to 50 or 60 people. Um, we have, uh, it, while we were in Seattle, uh, which is where we came from, um, we had people who had worked for our company for 20 to 25 years. So, it, you know, we consider ourselves a great long-term employer. So, uh, if you're looking for a career, if you're looking to get out of sort of a dead end job where there's no opportunity, opportunity for advancement, um, you know, we think that this is a great place. The, our uh, general manager and our sales manager are two people who have worked for our company for 20 and 21 years. Um, and they both started off as um, uh, production workers and they just kind of, you know, climbed the ladder over 10, 15 years. Stephanie, yeah, anything else you want to? Stephanie, anything I've forgotten that you want to add? Um, no, 
I mean, you, I think you covered it all. We are looking for people that are motivated and wanting to advance their career and grow. Um, we do like to promote uh, within house. So it's a, it's a good opportunity. Awesome. Thank you. And um, I did have a question. Is overtime um, offered? Uh, it is. And I think there was a slide there. I didn't, I didn't mention it, but yes, um, we um, occasionally have overtime. We, um, we don't want to, uh, overwhelm or overwork our current employees. So it's uh, typically a 40 hour week, but um, overtime occasionally, you know, we ask people if they're willing to work overtime and overtime is paid at time and a half. Thank you. And is there a night difference in pay, a differential for night shift? That's a very good question. And, um, um, we, we will be starting our, our, our night shift again, I think in a couple of weeks. And yes, there, there probably will be a slight um, higher pay for people who work at night that, than during the day. So yes, I think there will be a nighttime differential. Let, let me also say that um, um, for people, for some people who work on our night shift, uh, it, it would be ideal if they started out working on our day shift for a couple of weeks. And that's just because there, there are more people on our day shift and they'll get a better sense of uh, the work that we do. But, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be flexible. But again, answer your question. Yes, there will be a nighttime differential. Great. Thank you so much. Can you repeat um, the companies that you um, produce the equipment, the, um, the your material for? I'm sorry. Sure, sure. Yeah. Now, um, our customers, I, I mentioned a couple of them that are here in New Mexico, um, Sandia National Labs, Los Alamos National Labs. Um, for those of you who are familiar with the waste isolation pilot plant, which is down in Carlsbad, New Mexico. They're, they're also our customer. But, uh, you know, we make stuff um, for the United States Navy, for shipyards, for every nuclear power plant in the country. Um, we supply products to, I think last year, 13 foreign countries, including France and Japan. Um, we, make, we make products for NASA. So, you know, it's a, it's a you know, we're, we're, established company, we're not going anywhere, you know. And, you know, also um, we are not a, um, you know, uh, national conglomerate, you know, that just decides, oh, we're gonna lay off 5,000 people. You know, we're, you know, we're a um, small company, medium-sized company. Uh, we care about our employees. So again, uh, we have people who've, who've worked for us for, for a long time. Thank you. And are you a, a veteran-friendly employer? Uh, absolutely. We have uh, several people again in our in our Seattle uh, location that that were um, um, mostly actually in the Navy because people who work in the Navy are familiar with our with our products. But yeah, we um, encourage encourage veterans um, um, to apply. Absolutely. Perfect, thank you. I don't have any other questions at this time. So I thank you so much for partnering with us and uh, please continue to send us you, um, your positions and we'll uh, assist you as much as we can in recruiting. And thank you so much for joining. The recording of this will be on our um, sites, on our Facebook. And so if we, if you have any other questions, please refer back to it. But if anybody has questions about the positions, um, we do have your jobs posted on our uh, jobs.state.nm website. And then um, it uh, has your contact information there as well. So thank you so much for partnering with us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a thank good you, day. Stephanie. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.